are you asking to be included in this year's Halloween costume commentary even though you're clearly in a comic book convention? Wow, this Manolio's ugly one costume is perfect, right down to the stains. There's curry for breakfast, stewed tomatoes for lunch, and this one's just a festering wound. Okay, everyone, give it up for my little girl and her new boyfriend, Sir Hotbot Handsome Face. I got you like sheep. The ugly one! Now let's get it on like Diddy Kong! You already crocheted my costume from this year's Halloween cartoon? That's awesome! Psh, see me after the commentary so I can commission one of them toilet paper cozies. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe shaped like Marshy? Or one of Strong Sad Soons? We'll blow up my Halloween by being unrecognizable to almost everyone! And now, four seconds... For four Gregs. This is a blatant case of homsar baiting, in which the costume stands in a super messy room, trying to get me to make a non sequitur out of all the crap in the background. And I'm not falling for it. Or this is just a super accurate Omsal costume. You guys remember Omsal, the charming Dutch cartoon character from the 70s? Amsal, you must clean up your room. Ah, uh, there's a heart-shaped hole in my tiny dog bed. That's a pretty good trog hammer. Except he's more like a trog giant toothpick stuck in a giant piece of raspberry hubba bubba. Er. I've seen some very done questionable approaches to my mouth this year. Like this one's going, Ooh, I'm the only one that dressed up at this party. I thought it was a costume party. I guess it's not. And this one's getting into... Tertiary. Territory. An old beetle bug strong bad here's got two mouths for some reason? One for regular talking? And one for sharp dean talking. That's right. right. That's enough out of you. And this one dressed up as me doing upper lip man for the cheat. The cheat loves upper lip man. I'm a little guy that lives above your lips. Who's it gonna be? It's Upper Lip Man. Watch out for that Kool-Aid. Oh, and chapstick too. Peach fuzz is quite a problem. Oh, Upper Lip Man, he loves you. Ah! Finally, some love for the K.O.T. verse. You know, that night has a name. It's Sir Top Tingler, which is why we just call him the Knight. Anyways, there's some new canon for you weirdos that care about this kind of crap. Ah, I love a good full-size walk-around Homestar Runner costume, swallowing some poor kid whole. But the presence of those flop feet, the slop hat, and that hot glue gun lead me to believe this costume did not make it through Halloween night. Or out of that kitchen. Everybody, party, party, I got the heart of some sweatpants and the wings of a really pretty impressive, apparently hand-painted bootleg limousine t-shirt because it's Halloween night. Oh, let me fix that mask for you, too. Trick or treat! Look, office park. The office park is depressing and has no sidewalks or crosswalks nearby. So you have to cut through the bushes and cross a five-lane divided highway to get to the Trogdornigans across the street for your third lunch break with Nathan and the guys. You're dressed up as the postcards for Two Cars Tennessee and fabulous downtown Pantsburg? Maybe I can finally steal that bike! <laughs> oh man, it still won't budge! I wish Strongmad were here. I've been here all along! Rah! Folks have really upped their Homestar's shoes game. There's this one, and these, not so much this one, and this one, and this one. We're gonna just skip past this one. We're never gonna think about this one ever again. And now we come to way too obscure corner. Man, another champagne costume with like a custom printed dress. That is some disproportionate love for a character that showed up one time in the background of a crappy Flash game. 
And then we have this live nativity train wreck of a page from the Ocelot and the Porridge Maiden. Whew. Obscure! And here's a kid in a top hat with a piece of paper taped to their eyeballs. A.K.A. a Scotty T.T. costume. Ha <laughs> ha, you're right, Scotty. He has gone soft. It's like he's afraid to make fun of people on the Internet. Shut up! Don't talk to it! An impressive flight engineer Tadaveral from SpaceAF. Oh, twicely dang. They got my name wrong again. Tadaveral. Rhymes with Canaveral. My first name is R- Rheumatoid. Now that is a husky head. You're at least trying to match my bodily proportions. But this one's even closer. Look at all that husk. Husking it out on the left and the right. Husking it in a little on the twice time. But technically my head to rest of body size ratio is one to one. So in order to achieve 100% accuracy, this fella will have to look at a lack of this I'm coming back as Bug and Beetlebug Strongman. I finally get my due. Cause my, my name's Sharp D. Ooh, you just up your basement wall as the gallery from Vampire's Castle. And you got the sledgehammer and the flask and the... Wait a minute! Are those eye holes? Like this is an actual costume? Could you like walk around like that? Trick or treating? Or did you just go to a party and stand up against a wall? What else do you do at parties? Shut up! This year I'd like to pay a little tribute to the unsung hero of Homestar Runner themed Halloween costumes, the paper plate. Oh, paper plate! You're way more useful as a piece of a costume than you are as a plate. The potato salad always gets on my lap, and the beans, they drip right through. But when I need a piece of a hastily assembled Homestar Runner themed Halloween costume, I knew it was you! Wait a minute, is this one an attempt at last year's Tweet 'em Ups challenge? That is definitely a cost-benefit analysis of the import-export of potash. And that's a pretty good mecha strong side. Got a little chainsaw hand and a laser eyeball. Drone footage, I don't know. Without seeing it in motion, this could technically be like six-foot stepladder footage or standing on a shed footage or looking down from the deck footage. We'll say this one gets a provisional excepto. Whoa, is this another attempt? I don't see any sign of drone footage. But boy, did they make up for it with all this awesome robotic representation. We got the Grape Nuts robot, Humidabot, the Cheat Bot, and for no reason, the Sweet Cup and Cakes version of me. And just look at that Mecha Strong sad. He's got evil glowing red eyes, armored aluminum carbonate soons. And the finest in dryer duct appendages. Just look at him analyzing the crap out of that cost-benefit analysis PowerPoint. This one gets a Roboto Excepto. Thanks for dressing up this year, everybody. May you one day have two or three people recognize your costumes. <laughs>